I identify generally within like the group of trans asterisks being like my gender expression and sex don't necessarily match, but that I primarily identify with my sex assignment at birth uh, to some degree. Uh, I think it's really important that people who are not LGBTQ understand that these issues affect them because as we do things like create sex segregated spaces and allow further and further policing of such spaces, they carry with them in their concreteness, building rigid boundaries about what everyone can say and do. It's not just a, an LGBTQ issue, it's a really important, really big issue that affects everyone. And I wanted to kind of reiterate that because a lot of people have been saying that and I think that's one of the most important pieces of this puzzle of how crazy all this is. Anyway, I'm going to read something and hide behind my notebook now. <laughs> I stood feeling fluid. Water washed over my hands, taking with it the shit that happens in public restrooms. When a woman hit me with her purse, I turned, barely able to register her words above the shockwaves that shook my foundational reality. This is the woman's restroom. There is no room for rest for those of us who have to fear such audacity. She eyed my chest, continuing on her way, unashamed, all but her feet disappearing inside a blue stall. Those feet still stick in my mind like dirty bathroom floors. She still stalls progress. That was a decade ago. SB 1432, we count down the ways progress sometimes goes in reverse order. Spacing out logic that is out of this world, forcing us to be alien, alienated from public spaces. We need to keep men out of women's bathrooms for their protection. Hashtag safety tips for ladies. Posting signs that clearly mark a bathroom as women only, as women only activates a force field, effectively keeping out all would-be rapists. This is not necessarily about safety. It is about civil rights. It is about making sense of the world around us and how when someone's existence does not make sense to the rest of us, how do we reconstruct a reality to reflect what we want, like made up women's faces being mirrored over and over, images burnt into our retinas through repetition. We learn to unravel like toilet paper, to be used up and flushed away. Well, I am flushed with rage into swirling action around these spaces because despite what signs on doors say, restrooms hold space for the fluid of society. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>